Hi beautiful Aquarius, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Aquarius, this is your love reading and I've set the time frame from early um, May until early June of 2021. So let's just dive right in. We're going to start with an overall energy here to see what's going on for you. And then we're just going to go deeper and deeper into the message. So Aquarius love story. And if you feel like I'm completely describing your career, your work situation, your health, your whatever journey in your life that is parallel to your love story, then of course apply it to that. Okay. What is going on for Aquarius for love, please? Face your fears. Ooh. Ah, I didn't even want to show up. One other card. <clears throat> Okay, we really want to focus in on face your fears. That's interesting. We have all those moon cycles there in the back. Uh, and I, I don't know about you guys, but I felt a really big shift around the last full moon. Uh, I believe we have like new moon around today or something like that. Like in the up, like right in the middle of, um, it could actually be today. I don't know. Uh, I just follow my little boy who has trouble sleeping just before the new moon. And he's been trouble, having trouble sleeping like for two, two nights now. Um, and the last full moon and the, the full moon coming up uh, towards the end of May are both super moons. And I just really felt them this time. Stuff being brought up to the surface for sure. So this is a good thing. It sounds and, and looks maybe not good, face or fears. But this is like when we release stuff that is in the way of complete alignment complete alignment with your source complete alignment with your higher power i see a star a shooting star there in the back and i mean that's you occurs you're the star it's a shooting star so it talks about a wish fulfillment so something about just if you just follow the moon cycles right now if you follow if you follow your own intuition if you follow where it wants to take you you will release a lot of fears we're going to clarify this obviously and see see what we why this is here. So can we clarify this for Taurus, please? The fears around love, a love story. Yes, we can. That's interesting. I, I always sit with your energy a little bit before I, I start to just sort of meditate, put myself in the calm place and just connect with you guys who's out there. And... Um, and I was actually from this deck that I first drew this feeling of complete freedom. It didn't show up there in the deck, but then it showed up in the second deck, which is complete freedom. This usually for me talks about um, financial abundance. When you're financially completely free, this usually comes up. Uh, but this we're talking about um, we're talking about love here. And if I were to translate uh, money or energy, sorry, if I were to translate the money. It's like you have a you have a lot of energy when it comes it's like a high vibrational energy when it comes to love which is a really really good thing because that's what that's probably why you feel the urge or why you feel the need to let go of any fears right now or let go of anything that doesn't serve you anymore even down to the point of letting go of a certain relationships maybe not just romantic relationships but relationships around you that doesn't serve you anymore and i don't mean that you're the king or the queen of the hill and they don't and those lower people don't serve you anymore i think you know what i mean like wh when it doesn't it's just actually a sweater that you've outgrown you you uh maybe if you're an adult maybe you don't outgrow things anymore <laughs> like you're a giant uh by the time you're 60. uh you're a you're a humongous person and you don't fit in your clothes anymore um i think you completely know what i mean this is when you sort of clear out anything that doesn't uh, fit your highest good anymore and and you're facing your fears this is like the most freedom like this is a really good vibe to have around you and to have inside of you you're dressed in brown there which for me speaks about balance eight is the um, infinity sign it's as above so below like you're bringing in a lot of things that you want right now and it's also your uh it's talking about endless possibilities there gabriel is Gabriel and Gabriel it also showed up in your pre-shuffle so it's like um it's safe to come out and play it's safe for your inner child 
to come out and play. Okay? It's safe to trust. Uh, Nine of Ariel. Such a beautiful card. Such a beautiful energy. Nine speaks about, it speaks about the old and coming into the new. So there's the release again. But when it's around love like this, a nine shows up. It's like unconditional love. It's something that you've been wanting to manifest for a while. And you see all those beautiful butterflies. If that wants to completely focus. There you go. The butterflies in front of that unicorn uh, talks to me about transformation. And you see it says, dream. your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Ariel is all about the love and she's all the, also all about the manifestation. And if you listened to me before, you know that unicorns and peacocks are my indicator that a soulmate connection is around or is or that you just stepped into the soulmate connection. This can also talk about because this is your journey. It's always your journey. But this is when you're letting go of your fears like this, like you're you're coming higher and higher. If you even feel the urge or feel the need or feel like, okay, I'm done with this. Like I, I just need to be over with this. You're usually not in the fear anymore. You moved away from it. You're you're far enough from it that it, it that you're not it anymore. You're not attached to it anymore. It doesn't affect you or or offend you or or mess with you anymore. Um, so that is speak. And I I mean, and you're gonna see the next card coming out here as well. The eight of Gabriel is like talking about complete freedom, how you're flying high right now. Uh, the nine of Ariel, which is all about the unconditioned. It's the unicorn, it's the it's love, it's manifestation. And why I started saying, because it's your journey, I feel like this is, you are becoming the soulmate, if that makes any sense. In the past, you probably weren't ready to attract a person that was just really loving and empathetic and, and kind and just had so much passion about you, like finding it so interesting for them to put you first and not in a very depleting way, not in a, you can step all over me way, but having somebody and, and you want, and you feel like you want to do the same thing. Like if their happiness, their happiness is your happiness. I mean, to a certain degree. Um, and if you tune into my, my channel here, I think, I think you understand a whole, uh, first, a whole journey of taking care of your own needs, understanding who you are, first connecting with your inner being first that's why i say when you become your own soulmate when you become your own unicorn your own peacock it just means that you've you've um graduated you graduate you graduated like you went to school uh the, the school of life and you've matured and you risen like you're becoming like higher and higher in your own vibration and that vibration in itself can now start to attract really high vibrational people, really high vibrational situations around you. And that's where you're at right now. So it, it's either talking about you're becoming this soulmate yourself, you're becoming this unicorn yourself, and therefore you're attracting other beautiful people, or you have just entered into this beautiful relationship, or you're just about to. Like it's in your surroundings. And like law of attraction has no choice. The universe has an absolutely no choice but to deliver to you the most unique, unique horn, uh, the most unique person to you because you're in your own uniqueness now. It's just law, you know, it just has to happen that way. And then we have Ace of Gabriel. If that wasn't enough, we have Eight of Gabriel and then Ace of Gabriel. Like Ace is even high, higher. So it's so much about maybe somebody's at home right now watching this being actually really high. Um, this is this is you being really high very high vibration very high energy ace is a new beginning it's a new energy uh, entering your life and i feel like that's you you're being you're representing this in your own life in your own body in your own way of living and therefore you're attracting so many beautiful things on the bottom is there's a gift of passion opportunity and inspiration a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. You're su on such a good path here. And then perspective number 12, the hangman. Um, this is when you're changed. For me, this just uh, isn't, I'm, I'm not reading this as a typical tarot reading, typical tarot cards. So to me, this is just, okay, 
we're letting go of our fears. Um, you're coming into the eight of Gabriel, nine of Ariel, ace of Gabriel. It's like the, it's like so high energy. And because you're up there now, and because you see it differently, and because you're changing yourself, you're you're gonna have a change in perspective. Everything that looked a certain way a minute ago, if if any type of okay, so the easiest way to explain it is like if you if you felt fearful about something a minute ago, it doesn't it doesn't bother you anymore. It's sort of just you might have to do a little bit of work on it, like there it is again, but you know what, I don't care. Like, it doesn't have that grip because it just is telling that the vibration that you were in, the fear vibration that you were in, you're not in it anymore. And you're, you're far from it because I've, you're facing your fears, you're releasing your fears, right? And so you're changing your whole perspective and when it comes to love, there's a there's a there's a grand shift here. Okay, and actually, which one do we want to go with? Okay, and overall, like what else do we want to tell Aquarius? There, thank you, Aquarius for their love. One and one card, so it's also very like distinct, distinct, like is. It, there's no messing around. There's no second choices. There's no, um, um, it's just very on point. It's like, okay, one card and it describes this. And then we have the second card and it describes this. Uh, it's a very clear energy here. So flexible, uh, number 19. So 19 there for, for me, uh, numerology wise, it also talks about this person coming in um, because this is a prince or prin princess of heaven is 19, 19 for me. And then we, if we break it down, <laughs> do you see it <laughs> and then if we break it down uh we have a number one which is the new beginning we have already that with the uh, ace there and nine with an with an ending a new beginning and then as i said with the no number nine there ending in endings into new beginnings so it's just talking about endings and beginnings endings and beginnings you're i think you're um reinventing yourself you're letting go of stuff that doesn't serve you anymore which leads you to new things and when the new thing shows up the old thing is easier to release and so forth it's like it's like a good um playing off of each other situation once you're once you're getting over this first releasing of the fear the basic fear that has held you down the the bigger fear the big, bigger vibration that has been active once that is let go of and you're just rising up a little bit i feel like it, it has started to climb um this is asking you to be flexible though it's asking you to sort of just um in terms of the energy i have on a table and in terms of the cars that has come out when this flick jesus <laughs> scared me a bit sorry Well, that was the post uh, that just arrived and it <laughs> scared me a little bit today because it was really, long story short, I got a package, uh, which is really fun. Um, and I don't believe in coincidence, coincidences. So I think that there is something that's being delivered to you guys. They would have, I would have started this recording. I would have just ended it. I would have, you know, whenever that package was not being delivered. So I feel like uh, to incorporate that and say there's something you're waiting on the message, you're waiting on the actual package, you're waiting to hear some news, something is gonna arrive, and it might not scare you the way it scared me. I don't know why I got jumpy, but <laughs> it was, yeah. Anyway, we were on this flexible card. This flexible card, like I started out saying, due to the energy that I feel here, there's a little bit of, Aquarius, I know you want to do it your way. Like Aquarius is all about blazing your own trail. Like if you could find a way to invent the wheel twice, you would because it's like you take so much pride and so much like your juices are really flowing when there's something you have done yourself. If you could be further away from the mainstream, as far away as you poss possibly can, you would. Um, but there, so, and you should take pride in that. And that's what brings so much new innovations to this planet Earth. There's a lot of Aquarian um, innovators out there. And it's like, that's really beautiful. But there's something in here today about, yes, stay true to your core. Do you see how much like you bend and bend and bend and you almost tip over, but it's like, it's important for you to stay true to your core, to just hold on to your core beliefs, hold on to like, don't compromise yourself. Um, I just feel like, 
there's there's something in that like having a different perspective and there's something about um the shift that is going on for you and and definitely in terms of meeting somebody new to be open to new things open to how it could look this could talk about um i know this for a fact what it says in the book it could talk about um meeting a type that you're not that is not usually your type what you would consider like this is usually not what i go for and that could be physically it could be mentally it could be spiritually it could be just anything um and you're being asked or inspired right now to stay open to whatever is the the change is going to bring about for you you're to just stay open and listen to what's going on there for you i'm going to clarify that so we will just clarify this flexible a little bit Interesting. I just, uh, and I don't know if this is just going to be a Nordic thing now. I'm from Sweden and, and um, I just had this, if that if that's Pim, Pim or Su or this little uh, um, tablettask, like this little candy box, th this tiny little candy box that comes with sweet candy. I mean, Sweden are just, we're ridiculous when it comes to candy. Um, I've been in, I've been to the Americas for, for quite a few times and they do not have the type of candy that we have. We have so much candy, <laughs> we have so much candy. Um, and so I don't, I don't know what, even what to compare it to. And I don't even know through Europe or to, to any other parts of the world, what, anyway, I just had this smell. I do this sometimes I get this scent a scent of a person showing up or a scent of like bringing back to me back to his childhood memory or something like that for some reason i just had a scent of um pim pim or su it's like a little and so i don't know if anybody's eating those as you're watching this then know that your guides are with you right at this time okay little red candies okay what do we want to say about flexible here, please? Wow. Okay, so what I'm getting with this card, this re this is basically a tower card, the rebuild 16. That's sudden shift and sudden changes. And so it's almost like they want to give me a backstory, almost like they're they're having your back or they, they want to um, like, well, if you knew what Aquarius has been through, you wouldn't ask them to stay open to new ideas. Uh, they're not saying that. I, I'm, do, I'm just getting this feeling like if you understood Aquarius, you would understand why they're so keen on staying, like not to bend too much to anybody else's vision or view or whatever it feels like you you dealt with something in the past that really shook you to the core that maybe it was because you went too far away from your own core and maybe it was because you compromised yourself you know it, it, it um whatever is that's why i'm saying maybe because there's several reasons that that took you away from your core and because it took you away from your core you're so solid now like you're so sure like almost like you've made this pact with yourself you're you're never ever going to deal with a person again that that sways you away from your core right and so that's probably why they are coming in now to say please be flexible aquarius like stay true to you who stay true to who you are yes of course of course that's the most important relationship you have is the one with your inner being with your higher power with source with whatever you want to call it um but not to the point that you're missing out and not to the point that you know just because it looks really different from you it can't be good it actually is the very thing that actually can bring so much joy and so much happiness and so much love to your life and so the second two cards coming out here as well is number four and number eight uh i mean it's the second number eight coming out I just feel the power of this reading like it's just a powerful energy here the power that you're now coming into it feels like you're starting to just find yourself and that's really powerful uh you've rebuilt yourself 
you're in control and with this eight there it's like you're seeing everything you're seeing everything and the reason you see it do you see how doesn't really show up here on the camera I saw it so much better here when I'm seeing like in front of me in your third eye there it almost looks like a like on the helmet like around it there's like a green um, there's a green vibe there's like a green aura and because we have the heart chakra here it's like there's something bringing me to say okay you're seeing with your heart maybe for the first time in your life you're starting to see with your heart and this control Yes, you're in control. You're being asked to be a little bit more flexible to allow in the new, allow in the not before seen, not um, usual uh, to what you would find usual. Um, but other than that, it's like you see so clearly now. Those eyes there are just piercing through and they're like you're seeing so clearly now. And I feel like you're seeing with your third eye. It's like you're, you're so, you don't even have to look straight because it's like I'm, I'm seeing from here now. I feel everything. I sense everything. You're a walking powerhouse. And with the number eight there, a number eight in itself, I didn't say that before, but number eight in itself speaks about power and strength and and really, that's why I say it's, it's so much power here. And the numerology backs it up and the cards backs it up. It's, it's just really powerful. And you are you're coming into your own control. And what is control? Control is um, the control you have over your own vibration, right? You can literally not control anything or anyone else. Can you have influence over other people? Absolutely. Can other people have influences over you? Absolutely. But the more true to your core, the more in in balance or in alignment with your own inner being, with your higher power that you are the less you can like sway away from it, sway away. Um, there's a there's a double, double message here because one part of you wants to be so true to yourself that if you're gonna bring somebody new into your life or if you're gonna continue this relationship that you're in, it has to be so matchy-matchy that it doesn't upset anything about your core, that it doesn't sway you from your that inner balance. And I think that's coming from like um, you being quite new here. The more you practice to be in this balance, the more you practice to be in your heart. Anybody can literally come in and be and be anybody and do anything and it doesn't affect you one bit. And that's probably why. So so it says uh, face your fears, like release the p release the fears that the power have over you. What? Release the power that release the power of the fear like release the fear and you're in the power that's basically it if you just release the fear you're in the power you don't have to work on your power you're powerful to begin with and then for some reason you have chipped away on that and that has brought you down to fear and now when you're re releasing that again it's either bringing you back up to your power or you're in your power now and so the fear doesn't fit anymore it has to it, it has to be let go and so you're starting to feel in control. You're starting to feel really powerful. And that's a really beautiful place to be in. And you should be there. Simultaneously, it's asking you to be a little flexible around it. You just found this place. You just found this control. You're liking it. You're a little bit new. And because you're a little bit new, um, still things and people can sort of upset you and, and shake you a little bit. Um, and it definitely then with bringing somebody like a lover or like a romantic partner into your life, I understand why you're taking your time. But I, I didn't I say in the beginning, yeah, with the Gabriel there, it is safe to trust. It is safe to trust. And you know, that's that goes for like, if you're in trust, if you're feeling like you can just literally trust the world, the universe, that's law as well. Like whatever you feel like, like if you have a trusting trusting relationship with the universe if you have a trusting relationship with your inner being the universe can only bring you things that you can trust but if you walk around saying no 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 I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trust this until it completely proves to me that it's trustworthy I'm sorry to say but law of attraction says then we're gonna bring people to you that is gonna show you why you couldn't trust them and so 
being in love, being in, a, being in that open heart, being in trust before, and you're coming in there. You're becoming, you're the highest, like you're eight of Gabriel, you're ace of Gabriel. You're, you're becoming this soulmate yourself. You're really, really high up. So you don't have to, the, the, just so you understand, it's not 50-50 that I'm talking about here. It's like 80-20 in terms of, of percent and in terms of where I feel like you're at. Um, you're 80% in your power and your soulmate and you're 20% in your fears and what could go wrong. But then, if we, and, but then if we were to sort of compare how long have you been in this power? How long have you been in fear? I'd say 20% you've been in this new power and 80% you've been in the fear. And so it's, it's a very awesome place to be in, but it's very new. And the more you practice it, the more you just feel like this is it. You know, it comes and goes in the beginning. We feel like when you're starting to wake up, when you're starting to just understand your true potential and understand your power it's like in the beginning at least it was for me in the beginning it's like this oh, man I had it a minute ago and then you know it's gone and you feel like you're still reactive to the stuff that's happening around you and you're you feel like you're not in charge and you feel like other people can mess with you and and whatever and then you're back there and nothing matters nothing matters it's just you and your connection and it feels so good and then it's gone again. <laughs> Where did it go? And, it, and in the beginning, it just feels like you so want to treasure it and you so want to value it. But if you sort of learn to trust and let go of that a little bit as well to understand you can't go back now, Aquarius. You can't know this about yourself. You can't be this new and this high up and, and really debate there with your fears like bye-bye fears. Um, and go back to not knowing you just can never go back to not knowing which in the beginning feels like it was so much easier when i just didn't know and i just went around and thought the world was what it was and now in full control and full power and full responsibility it's a little bit challenging in the beginning but once you learn to harness harness the energy around it and you just become become more and more comfortable in this power you're just going to attract another equally powerful person or you just have attracted another equally powerful person that doesn't okay maybe this is for like one or two people out there uh this is just coming in just in um some of you want, might might wonder why you have um hooked up with uh busy it's not the word i'm looking for um you wonder why you have connected with people who are taken they could have been married or you could have met somebody that's like living across the world from you or in another city or wh however far away that makes it so almost impossible for you to see this person that's not a fluke just as the mail arriving as i'm doing this reading is not a fluke it's not a coincidence it's a planned out thing and even though it feels really struggling to you, I said this is not for all here now, is that, okay, you're gonna attract, you're gonna attract the person that is the safest for you to let in and the speed that you're then gonna let it in. So if you're not comfortable to let anybody in, you might think that you're comfortable, but then you would have attracted a person that's living next door and you're physically just, you could just be open with each other. Like this pandemic, it's so, it's so good for people, I think, because they need to just really get to know each other before the physical interaction um i just want to say that for those two, two people if one person you met and they were married and they don't want to like fully like it was so bad because they were married then if they were not i could have no it was a perfect match for you at the time where it was where it was a match because it was the only thing that you could allow in at the point at the at the at the moment um and like if they've been living too far away so that you can actually not meet them it's a safety net for you it's a safety net for you, okay? I'm going to take this into the extension. So if you feel like this resonates with you, not the very, very last part there. There was maybe just for a few people. Um, but the fact that you are dealing with letting go of your fears, you're coming back into your own, you're really, really high there in your vibration. It's so beautiful cards here. And you're becoming the soulmate. You're just about to meet this person or you have actually just met this person. Then 
The link to that is in the description box down below. Uh, if not, thank you so much for watching Aquarius. I hope to see you back soon. Take care, guys.